everyone. So today it is a Saturday and I am actually heading off to rugby to see my parents for the day. Oh my gosh, it's so sunny today. I can't even believe that this is like England. I'm wearing a short sleeve and everything. So I'm like so happy that it's like a really nice day. Oh my gosh, Charlie. Hey, Charles. Hey, Charles. <laughs> hey, Charlie, baby. Hey, Charlie. You want to go to rugby with me? <laughs> he's so cute. He's gonna probably try and come in my car in a minute. Oh my god, he's actually trying to come in my car. <laughs> Charlie, I can't take you. I'm sorry. I can't take you with me, Charlie. Hey, Charlie wants to come in my car with me. Look, he's actually coming in my car. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Charlie's coming with me, apparently. He wants a trip to rugby. <laughs> He wants to meet Mi uh, Timmy and um, Lucifer. Charlie, baby boy. I'm sorry, but you can't come. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, I don't think he's leaving. He proper wants to come with me. Look, he's like laying, he's just, full on laying on my lap. just sit there the whole time. Oh, Morning. bless him. I'm sorry, Charlie. You'll get cuddles when I get back, okay? Bye Charlie! Anyways, I'm gonna head off now, so I'll be back like later on in the evening. So Matt's just gonna hang out at the house by himself for today and I'm gonna go see my parents. So I'll speak to you guys when I get there. I'm here, I have made it to my parents' house. It was like an hour's drive because I was stuck behind these really slow coaches and there was like a tractor going in front of me and I was literally going like 20 miles an hour for like such a long way and yeah that's why I'm like here so late but I am finally here and the weather oh my gosh it's it was like so nice this morning when I left and now it's like really gloomy and just so cloudy so I'm like oh uh, not again hopefully the weather's gonna get better soon it's really annoying because every time I go away to like another country the weather starts getting better like why can't it be nice whilst I'm here? That's what I don't I don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, I am now just going to edit my vlog because that has to go up today. I checked back and I'm really sorry about the previous vlog being quite a short one. I don't know what happened. I feel like I've lost a lot of footage that I recorded yesterday. So I'm really sorry about that vlog being quite short and just not very interesting. But today I'm gonna try and make it a lot better for you guys and I'll vlog a whole lot more. Yeah, me and my mum are actually gonna head off to Superdrug because I wanna pick up a few things for a main channel video I want to do like a testing revolution makeup kind of video because I haven't actually tested makeup revolution in like a full like dedicated video yet so I really want to do that and the super drug here in rugby is actually a lot bigger than the one in Bista and in Bista we don't actually have a makeup revolution stand at all so that is why I'm gonna have to go here so I'm gonna go do that now so guys I have now just come back from super drug I bought a bunch of makeup from Makeup Revolution, I'm gonna show you guys a few bits that I got. So I picked up the Revolution Pro Illuminate highlighter. This is like literally so big, it's literally like pretty much the size of my face. Um, and then I also got this double-ended felt tip liner to test out as well for the main channel video. I then also got this contouring HD cream contour palette. This was like, I think eight pounds. So, you know, I'm just gonna test out a bunch of these products and let you guys know what I think in a main channel video very soon. But so far, so good it looks pretty good i had like a little swatch in store and it looked pretty good so i'm excited to try it on my actual face then i also picked up this revolution ultra eye contour light and shade palette so this is like a shadow palette with just purely matte shadows and then i also picked up this retro Lux matte lip kit in shade rain this reminds me so much of the kylie lip kit so we will see if it's any good and then the last thing i got to test out is the amazing volume mascara so that's all the products i'm going to test out for the video very soon and i'm really excited because i haven't ever done like a proper testing revolution makeup or anything like that i've tried like the highlighter and a few other products but not like the whole range so yeah I'm really excited I'm gonna be pre-filming that so that you guys can see that when I'm out in Ibiza so yeah I'm really excited to try those products I'm now actually gonna head out to have some dinner with my parents so we're gonna go to Toby's Carvery in Coventry so we're gonna head there now I'm really hungry so let's go get some food <laughs> Can you see I 
So guys, we have now made it to Toby Carvery. I am so hungry. I'm literally gonna have so much food and then I'll probably have like the biggest food coma <laughs> ever. This is what I'm about to eat. I have put way too much food on this plate, but I'm gonna try and eat it all. <laughs> I am now back home and I'm actually just going to leave to go back to rugby because it's getting a little bit dark. So I should probably leave before it gets completely dark because I don't really like to drive. When it's dark, I said dark like three times in one sentence. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go now and yeah, I'll see you guys when I get home. I am back home, finally. Oh, that was, that was like actually quite a good drive. And do you know what? I actually made it in one hour, not an hour and a half. Cause there was like barely any traffic. So yeah, I got here pretty soon. Yeah, I was surprised. <clears throat> yeah, I got here pretty soon. So right now we don't really have much planned. It's like, what time is it? like 9 p.m and yeah i just just gonna watch tv pretty much this is like how real our life is like we don't get up to fun stuff all the time we just watch tv and that's pretty much it <laughs> like everybody else but um i kind of want to start playing my guitar and like learn a few more songs so i might do that now um and yeah i'm gonna try and learn maybe like one of ariana grande's songs to play or something I'm not too sure, but I kind of want to just learn something today. So it's actually getting a little bit dark now, but me and Matt have just decided that we're going to go on a bike ride because we haven't been on a bike ride in so long. Like, it's just been because of the weather. We used to go like twice or three times a day sometimes because the weather was nice, but recently we've just been like slacking a little bit. And yeah, I kind of miss going on bike rides. So we're going to go now, even though it's really windy, but we'll wrap up warm and just, you know, go around the ring road of Vista and, you know, just, just have a little cycle because why not? We've got nothing better to do this evening anyways. It's better than sitting here on the sofa and watching TV anyways. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's go. So we have made it to the first location that we were going to cycle to and it's basically an outdoor gym that they've just pretty much built recently. So I'm just on this little, I don't even know what even this is, but it just does this. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel like I'm actually doing anything. I'm literally just pulling myself up and down. Um, there isn't really much like resistance. I guess it would be a little bit different if you were doing it with one arm. Maybe it's a little bit more difficult, but yeah. It's really fun. windy out here. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to rain a little bit. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I don't know. It's such a miserable day today, guys. But oh. I'm just going to have a little play on these and then we'll probably head off. The clouds are a nice colour. Yeah, they're kind of like purpley over there. So can you pick that up on camera? Yeah, look. Have a look. Oh yeah, that looks nice. It does. Anyways, we are now just going to... It's raining! Oh, oh, no. It's proper raining now, guys. We should probably head back. Or Probably. head to the next location where we can find some shelter, like under a tree or something. Well, I brought a, I brought a mat. We could hide under the mat. <laughs> oh, okay. We have to do it here because of this camera. It's doing a time lapse. Oh, no. All right. Well, we can just hide under it, can't we? Kinda. Oh. There you go. <laughs> no, not the. All right. There we go. Uh oh. Look. So we are under a <laughs> <laughs> uh, garden blanket. I feel basically. like you have more on your side. I do, I do, I do. There you go, you can have some more. The camera's getting wet. So how long has it got left for the um, time lapse? It's got 14 minutes. Okay. So we are basically just gonna camp out here for another 14 minutes <laughs> <laughs> whilst it's raining. <laughs> the camera in low light is literally what do you see it's pitch black <laughs> like that, that's the a7r that yeah this got. is the a7r and this is the a7s that i use for all of my main channel videos and like the it literally looks just... like daylight here all right let's focus on the background what the heck like, honestly it's just Wait, like that i can't even i can't see that with my own eyes guys look i can't even see this with my own eyes but the camera can see it 
and it looks like daylight. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. That's this insane. Camera. Should we show them how creepy it is down where the route is? Like yeah. our way back is literally so creepy because it's literally pitch black and there's no lighting. As you can see on the camera here, it's pitch black. We are now gonna head back home. It's raining like really hard now and we're just getting super soaked. My hair is, oh my God, just bad. But we are now heading back this way. And even though you guys can probably see it quite well on the camera. Wait, let me expose it to how we can see it. Yeah, it's literally pitch black. Uh, hold on. All right, that's how it looks to us. Yeah. All right, that's how it looks to the eye. Yeah, it's really pitch black. And I'll turn that back up. It's foggy as hell. And yeah, it's just not pleasant. It's really scary. And I'm, yeah, I'm kind of scared to go down there to be honest, because <laughs> we've got a, quite a long way back with like no light. We can use the scary. camera to see. I know, we can. can we? Uh, but over there, it kind of looks like there's a bin and it kind of looks like there's a person stood there. So it's really creeping me out. But yeah, we should probably head back now. Hey guys, so it is now the next day and I completely forgot to finish my vlog last night. So I'm really sorry about that, but I've got quite a funny slash scary story to tell you from last night as you guys saw in the previous clips um, me and Matt went out quite late last night cycling and we ended up in this field where there was barely any lights and it was really creepy and like foggy on the way back so there was like two ways we could have like come home essentially there was the way we came which was like the long route and it had like no lights and it was really foggy and really creepy and then there was the other way which was like the main kind of shortcut towards the estate because the place we were at was like a new estate with new houses so yeah pretty much there's like a bunch of houses that are like being half built and there was this one really scary huge house with like no windows it was pitch black in there it was just like a construction site and it looked really creepy and that was like the way that it was like closest to get to like civilization and lights and stuff so we we're like okay let's try and see if we can go this way instead of going the scary way so we went this way and we went up to the building and we were like this is a dead end, we can't go this way. So we had to turn around and we were like, oh my God, this is really creepy. Cause we were like right next to this house where there was like no windows, it was pitch black inside. So yeah, we ended up going the same way we came and we were like, okay, let's go, let's just go this way. Like, let's just get out of here. Cause it's really creepy. And Matt's bike broke down. I was like, are you serious? This is literally like the beginning of a horror movie. Like a couple goes out exploring into like the unknown, it gets dark, it gets scary. And then when they try and go back, one of their like vehicles or like bicycle breaks down. Like, oh, it was just such a nightmare. Yeah, it was really creepy, but he ended up fixing it. It had to, like, I had to, like, shine my torch from my phone for him to fix his bike because, like, the chain completely just fell off of the bike. And we were like, ah, no, this is so scary. But we made it. We made it home all in one piece. No monsters got us on the way back, so that's all good. But, yeah, I'm going to finish the vlog here because, obviously, it's the next day and, yeah. I'm gonna vlog today as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's vlog, even though I didn't really get up too much, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. Hopefully today is gonna be a slightly more exciting day, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys tomorrow in a brand new vlog. Bye. I was gonna say night guys, but it's not night, probably. No, it's not night for me, so anyways, bye. <laughs>